GCSE Maths hard rearranging question in just under two minutes. Let's go. This type of rearranging is tricky, guys, but it comes up all the time in exams. Let's have a look. It says make A the subject of the following, and then we have an equation. P equals N squared plus A over N plus A. Now, this is tricky. Let's have a look. At the moment, we have an N plus A on the bottom of our fraction, and we want A to be the subject. So we don't really like that. What we're going to do to remove n plus a from the bottom of our fraction is multiply both sides by n plus a. When we do that, on the left hand side, we're going to have p times by n plus a. And on the right hand side, we're going to have n squared plus a. Now we have an a inside a bracket. We don't like that. So let's expand those brackets, simplify this. We're going to get pn plus ap equals n squared plus a. Next step, we want to get all of our a's onto one side and all of the other letters onto the other side. That's going to help us get the a on its own. So we can subtract a from both sides, moving this one to the left, and subtract pn from both sides, moving this one to the right. We're going to get ap subtract a equals n squared minus np. Pause the video now if you didn't get that and just check it out. Up next, what can we do? Well, we have a term in a here and a term in a here. We're going to factor out our a and this is the part which comes up all the time, guys. We have to factor out our a. That's going to allow us to get it on its own. So we pull out a factor of a. We have a times by p minus 1 equals n squared minus np. Up next, finally, to get the a on its own, we can divide both sides by p minus 1. We're going to end up with a equals n squared minus np over p minus 1. And that, guys, is going to be our final answer. Watch out for those rearranging questions where you need to pull out a factor.